The game of Hissy Fit is a cooperative game where everyone is working together to get the cat into the carrier. To begin a game, choose the level of difficulty by picking a cat tracker. Next, place the cat token on start and keep the red cube nearby. After this, shuffle the Hissy Fit cards and place them face down near the tracker like so. Next, shuffle the cat deck and place it next to the tracker as well. Once this is done, flip the top card of the cat deck and start a cat card row. If this card has any instant effects, deal with them now. Lastly, shuffle the human deck and deal them out to each player. The number of cards each player gets depends on how many people are playing. Let's say this is a two-player game, so each player gets three cards. As for the rest of the deck, place it here and flip the top three cards, placing them in a row here. Okay, so before we go on, you've probably noticed a bunch of symbols on these cards, and you might be getting a little intimidated. I won't cover all of them in this tutorial, but just to give you an idea of what they mean, let's first look at a cat card. This one says, Hungry. And as long as this card is out, your cat, according to this icon, cannot move forward along the track to the carrier. So, we need to get rid of this card, but how? At the bottom of this cat card, there are three stubborn icons. In order to get rid of this particular card, the player has to play human cards that cancel out the stubborn points. For instance, this ball of yarn card has three options on it. Cancel two stubborn icons, cancel two sneaky icons, or move the cat forward on the track. Seeing as we aren't allowed to move forward and we really want to get rid of these stubborn icons, we'll play this card to add two calm cubes on these stubborn icons. And we're one step closer to getting rid of this hungry cat card. It's not gone yet, but that's okay, because our other player wants to play a combo off of our card. See, these icons on the left side are combo icons, and when you or one other player have cards with the same combo icon, you can play as many of them as you want. In this instance, the other player has a blanket fort, which gives us that last icon to get rid of the hungry card. The cat card gets discarded, and the used human cards go into the human discard pile. Now that you know the basic mechanics of the game, let's take a look at a basic turn. A player's turn has two parts, the cat's phase and the human's phase. To begin, flip the top cat card and place it in the cat row. This card says we can't move our cat forward while it's on the cat row, and what's more is we take a scratch. That's not good. If we take too many scratches, the game ends and we lose. Next we check to see if the other cat cards have any effects that go off every turn. And as misfortune would have it, the Berserk card says we take another scratch. We've got to get rid of that one soon if we want to have a shot at winning the game. And now it's the Humans phase, where the player has two actions, each of which could be taking a human card and putting it in your hand from either the deck or the three face-up cards, or playing a human card from your hand. There is a third option, and that is to use both actions at once and draw three human cards. Once both actions have been used, it's the next player's turn, starting with the next cat phase. So that's pretty much the game. If you move the cat token to the final space, you win the game, and if you get too many scratches, you lose the game. Oh, right, there's one more way you can lose. The Hissy Fit cards. Each Hissy Fit card has three spaces for Hiss tokens. When a cat card has a Hiss icon on it, a Hiss token is placed on an empty space on the first card. Once all three spaces are filled, flip the Hissy Fit card and follow its instructions. If all three of the Hissy Fit cards are flipped, the game ends and you lose. So that's the game Hissy Fit. It's a great game and I've left a link in the description below. Go check it out and until next time, this is Hogwash, over and out, catch you later.